I, Tonya is directed by Craig Gillespie and stars Margot Robbie, Sebastian Stan and Alison Janney. It tells the story of famous and infamous figure skater Tonya Harding played by Margot Robbie and who she was in and outside the world of figure skating. I had, as an Australian born in 1995, no idea who Tonya Harding was. I barely knew a few little things about the Nancy Kerrigan incident. I was one of those people who thought that she, you know, got a lead pipe and wanted to, you know, break open Nancy Kerrigan's knees and, and sabotage her so that way she could win Olympic gold. Well, that's absolutely not at all what the real story is. And I know that after watching this movie. This movie really wants to educate her with the truth, the real honest truth in a very different kind of way, who Tonya Harding was. They use unreliable and contradicting stories from all these different people who have all had direct contact with Tonya Harding throughout the years. It chooses a kind of mockumentary style where we have those characters many, many years later talking to us and giving us information, but their stories don't always match up. So the truth really does lie in the middle. You can still get a clear idea of what was actually going on. In the end, you do learn a lot of things about Tonya Harding, and that's down predominantly to Margot Robbie's performance. She gives the best performance of her entire career. She is so deeply into this really complicated character because Tonya ultimately was just not given a fair shot. Out of all the work that she poured into figure skating and into her life and trying to show up her mother and trying to be a good wife and just trying to have those things, every single time she does that, it's taken away from her in some way. And in the end, she is forced into a situation where she will never get what she truly thought that she deserved. The way that Margaret Robbie plays that is perfectly. She hits those deep emotional kind of moments so well. There's one particular scene where she's doing her makeup in the mirror, which lingers really long on her face and it works so perfectly. Alison Janney as well is just playing this incredibly unlikable person who at the same time, you're also kind of understanding where she's coming from. You don't agree at all with the means that she uses to try and push Tonya to become the best of the best, but you can still understand through Jenny's performance where that character has come from and who they are. And that is probably the strongest point that I, Tonya has. It is its performances. The cinematography is really cool. It reminded me very much of Boogie Nights and how it uses these really, really fast close-ups to different scenes. It establishes them in this incredibly energetic way that just enlightens you and think, wow, okay, we're going through this. The movie itself feels very much like The Wolf of Wall Street. There are characters who talk directly to the screen and engage you, and that was pretty fun to watch. It's competently directed, but the story can feel a little slow. There is one character who is funny at first, but the constant focus on his stupidity bogs down the story to a point where you think that the movie's pretty much over, but then you realize, oh wait, the incident hasn't happened yet. That's odd. The storytelling can suffer from that, it can take you out of the experience, but the biggest thing that really took me out of the experience is the fact that there are a lot of ice skating scenes because this movie is about an ice skater. And I understand that Margot Robbie probably doesn't know how to do all of those perfect, incredible ice skating moves that people spend years and years and years of their lives perfecting. So they had to use a stunt double. But they do the modern trick of taking Margot Robbie's face, using a digital model and putting it onto the stunt actor's face. And now that is a very common industry practice now and it is usually seamless, except in these instances where it's really obvious and it's terrible. I understand that they probably didn't have the biggest budget, but wow, it's really quite awful. It just makes those ice skating scenes, which should feel incredibly powerful and should be amazed by the ability that Tonya Harding had, but you're just still focusing on her face looks screwed up. It looks like someone has made a clay model of Margot Robbie's head. And that's pretty much all the flaws of the movie. Other than that, it is a very enjoyable movie to watch. It is anchored completely by those great performances. Sebastian Stan as well, he does a great job. If you're wanting an educational and enlightening look at who Tonya Harding was as a real person, 
perfectly captured by Margot Robbie, then I would definitely recommend going out to see I, Tonya. So I, Tonya, have you seen it? Please tell me what you think about it in the comments below. There are going to be videos linked down here or one over there. For more Mr. Movies, please press my little face right there. Thanks for watching. Oh,